Well, good afternoon again, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the apps that I use as I'm riding. Uh, bicycle computers, speedometers, that sort of thing. And we'll just give you a little rundown of what I have found works real well for me. And then you can kind of decide for yourself what would work best for you. So stick around and let's see what we come up with. Now this is your speedometer app and it is a basic speedometer. You do have some other information on there. Uh, you've got your distance, your average speed, your maximum speed. There's a clock on there. Uh, if you click it over to here, you've got your speed, your distance, and your maximum speed, or you have a custom one. And when you come into here, you can change any of these widgets to you know you've got direction in there gps connectivity uh, moving time current speed battery average speed so that is about as nice as you're going to get for just your basic speed all right you can also come in and what makes this kind of nice is you can change colors on this and apply that and now you've got different colors so for different times of days different lighting you can uh, go ahead and there we go you can go ahead and get different effects next up is the super cycle now i really like this app uh, the the reading is very easy to see with the black background and the white lights and all of these widgets down here they are customizable again this is a free app the link is going to be in the description and you've got a lot of information here now you've also got a map we just took a little ride around the yard and up through the field and whatnot and you can bring the map down to uh, use the full screen or you can have a, a map along with limited now uh, a limited information showing now there is a little bit of a problem with this one and that would be if I were to try and change apps and accidentally close that app when I come back and reopen it I am starting completely over so I've lost my start point if I'm out 10 miles from where I started I'm gonna have to find another way to get myself back that can be a little bit of an issue and finally my number one app choice is the ride with GPS now we'll discuss first a couple of things that I well the one thing I'm really not too crazy about is while these widgets are, are customizable you can put in what you choose to there what is not customizable is the background the theme for it and it can be a little bit difficult in certain lighting to see a white background with black letters okay but what I do like about this app is the map it is incredibly detailed just gives you an, an incredible the 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 GPS mapping on this is really really second to none so that is a major plus right there you can see in the distance down here we've got it it's a 1393 feet is what we've traveled with it well 
this will change over to miles and when you get into the history it's even going to tell you it's going to give you mile markers on your trip but the one thing that really makes this uh, my number one app is if I accidentally close it when I open it back up if you look down here this doesn't say go for a ride anymore it says return to a ride and so I still have my starting point listed here and you can see I'm basically right back within about five feet of where I started from so I can get back there even if I make the mistake of closing this app and that is a major major plus in my book to turn this off there's no real making mistakes you have to hold this down now you have to finish the ride okay you can resume the ride or finish the ride if I finish the ride there you can save it or you can delete it and we'll just save that one right there that's going to get saved into my library okay and when I pull this up I've got all the elevation, the distance, the grade, the location, the setting here of private. If you set that to public, it'll be seen by anybody that has a GPS app if they search for it. Now we set that for private uh, for rides around here, but when we go out somewhere, I always just set that to public. And if we go to somebody else's ride, right here you know this would be somebody else that has taken this ride i can navigate right to the start of this ride and match their ride so that's a pretty nice little feature that will really help you to find some rides that other folks have started out and and tried Well, there you go, friends. That's the three apps that I use when I'm out biking. We use the free version of all three of them. The links are down below in the description. And there's, there's certainly more features to all of these. This is not some in-depth review. All we did was kind of touched on the highlights of each of the three. They've all got some more features available, and maybe that's something we should go over in another video down the road. You tell me in the comments if that's something that you might be interested in. Anyway, until then, God bless, stay safe, and keep them wheels rolling.